was it a privilege to hear that you were named in the Holden Cup Team of the Year? Yeah, definitely. So um, you just got to look at the calibre of players that have uh, made the team before me, I guess. So um, yeah, obviously a massive achievement. Um, yeah, something I'll hold on to for a very long time. I feel privileged to uh, get nominated. So yeah. <laughs> you're still at high school too, like yeah, you. Yeah, I'm still currently in the high school at Cohen High back in Townsville. You've made your NRL debut, one game, round 24. What was that like? Talk us through that. Yeah, it was obviously a massive achievement. Um, just a bit of reward for a lot of hard work and sacrifice over the year, I guess. Um, yeah, it was obviously awesome getting to play alongside Jonathan Thurston and guys like that. So, um, yeah, really, look, uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, Mum and Dad got to fly over as well, which was, um, yeah, very satisfying, I guess. How old are you? Uh, I'm 18. Yeah. yeah. And what about the, um, you've got uh, the top all-time try scoring record this year. Yeah. Are you proud of your own efforts? I yeah. mean, what's it been like this year? How have you seen yourself grow as a player? I'm pretty proud of my effort and like the most try scores and stuff. Um, yeah. What's the next goal for you? Um, to be a regular in the team, I guess. Um, playing week in, week out in the NRL was obviously um, been a childhood dream of mine so um, I got a taste now I guess it made me a bit more hungry to keep on striving forward so yeah. Any players from the squad that you used to look up to as a kid or, or ones that you can see yourself being similar to? Um, yeah oh, Matt Scott and Jonathan Thurston were the big ones for me um, being such superstars um, so I guess my role's similar around Matt Scott being a forward so um, yeah trying to mould my game around his a bit I guess. How did you come into the Cowboys group? Um, well, I see myself growing when I was like, uh, like it was last year when I moved down to here, Townsville, and then uh, it was like a big step for me, so I kind of had to change myself. Yeah, okay. So where did you come from first? Uh, first originally I'm from the Torres Strait, but then I moved to um, the uh, Cairns in North Queensland. Then uh, I got picked up from Cowboys from there, so I had to make another move to Townsville. And I had to leave my whole family behind and stuff. Yeah, right. Has it been hard leaving them behind? Yeah, it's been very hard sometimes. You've got a close family, brothers, sisters? Uh, yeah, back in Kent, but them, some of them are mainly in uh, Torres Strait. Yeah, okay. And what's the Torres Strait like? How different is it living in Townsville to what it's like in Torres Strait? Um, in Torres Strait, you, um, you live on an island, so it's uh, not much people or not much cars around, so basically you have to walk everywhere. <laughs> And when did you realise you had a passion for rugby league? Did you used to play in Torres Strait or did you just start when you moved to Cairns? Like when did you first get into it? Um, we all started as a, like, we didn't know rugby, or I didn't know rugby league. Um, I was watching it one day on TV and like, and I saw it and like, I, like, I never thought of it, like I would actually play NRL or rugby league. Then I went to school one day, we had athletics carnival and my principal saw me like, oh, cause I won all my events and my principal told my dad like to bring me down to um, Cairns. Then we made like a very big like that was a big move for us like moving to Cairns. Um, yeah. Then after that, uh, I got into rugby league and I started playing for Cairns Kangaroos and and that's how I got picked up. And you're doing some work outside of footy. Tell us how much time that takes up. Yeah. So I work at the Brothers Leagues Club doing reception and stuff like that. Um, usually get around four shifts a week, which are about three hours each, so it doesn't really accumulate to much, but it's just doing something, I guess. Um, have ambitions of going back to uni next year and studying something sport-related, just for something to fall back on after footy, I guess. Do you think it's good that the NRL has this no work, no study, no play thing? You know, what, how does it make you a better person or a better player? Yeah, so uh, I guess it keeps you grounded a bit. You don't get too far ahead of yourself. Um, and obviously you can't have footy forever, so it's good to um, either have work or study to fall back on after footy as well. 